The family of a 21-year-old found unresponsive in a fish house believes carbon monoxide poisoning could be to blame for his death. Doctors found high levels of the odorless gas in his system. Friends called 911 after finding Sam Schooley in the top bunk of their fish house on Leech Lake Sunday morning. The group was there for the Eel Pout Festival. WCCO's Jennifer Mayerly spoke with his dad about the loss and offers a warning for others. Sam Schooley was at home when he was outdoors and active. He liked being out snowmobiling, four wheeling, uh, fishing, hunting. Passions that started early in life that Sam and his dad Tom shared. He was my best friend. The trips that we took and and the time that we spent together were, um, they were the best times I had. Sam went on an adventure with friends to Leech Lake last weekend. They stayed in this fish house. Friends told his family Sam went to bed Saturday night and never woke up. They tried to roust him to get him up and eventually they couldn't. He was unresponsive, so they called the ambulance. For me, there was still hope at that time. But he had been dead for hours. Doctors told his family the percentage of carbon monoxide in Sam's system was 58%. I guess I have a little bit of peace that he didn't suffer. It uh, seems like a ripoff. 21 years is too young. Tom wants others to be aware of the dangers of carbon monoxide in fish houses. The house had a detector inside, but it was near the ground and the gas rises. Sam was sleeping in a top bunk. I'm not much of an activist, um, but I probably could be for this. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. Tom said Sam's friends who slept in the lower bunks showed lower levels of carbon monoxide exposure. An autopsy is being done to determine an official cause of death. Sam's visitation is going on now in Waconia, followed by his funeral.